Hi Aries, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of April the 10th to the 17th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing and subscribing to these videos that I put out on YouTube every week. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you would like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I direct you to go to that button, press that button, it'll take you to my website, which is www.BrendaTaro, spelled T-A-R-O. It'll then show you where you can go and schedule an appointment with me and the services that I offer. We start our week today, Aries, on Monday with the Seven of Air. And Air cards have to do with the injustice that people bring into our lives and having to make fair and just decisions and choices involving these people uh, and, uh, and how we do that with them. It can be challenging. This is also uh, a card that shows people that are dealing with the legal system and lawyers and courts and things. This tells me that some plans have to be revised because if you go ahead with them, they refer to it as poor timing because there's more going on behind the scenes than meets the eye. On Tuesday, you've been given a major card. You've been given the Hermit. And the Hermit is all about you spending alone time and that it's necessary and about being in your own company and listening to your own inner voice and what it is that you want. Uh, meditation is often where we need to go when we need to do that. This is also about a spiritual teaching and you being able to impart some of that wisdom on your spiritual journey with others right now. It's about your self-discovery and perhaps you being a mentor to help others. On Thursday, you have been given, on, pardon me, on Wednesday, I'm jumping ahead of myself, you have been given the Ace of Earth, crowning your week on Wednesday. And Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives and often our jobs, professions, and careers. But it can have to do, because it is the Earth card, it can have to do with Mother Earth and the ecosystem and our closest circle, which is our family. This is telling me that because it is the Ace, it's the beginning of an inflow of abundance coming into you. And it has to do with the job because it's showing me that there is a very good business venture coming into some of you. And they show me that there's going to be the signing of contracts and documents. On Thursday, you've been given that major card I don't like. You've been given the ego. And the ego is all about a false sense of entrapment. And you feeling, but you need to know that that feeling is false. That false anxiety you're feeling, okay? It has to do with you dealing with an emotional uh, it, an emotional issue or a root problem and you're trying to fill that void with a distraction and often it has to do with dealing with things materialistically we're more focused on things materially and uh, the refusal to face the truth and take personal responsibilities for our life and our situation it can lead to excessive debt because of that it can lead to dependency because of that if you're using these things as a bandage fix instead of going right to the point right to the topic right to the root problem Please deal with it and don't use any distractions like that that can get you in trouble. Earth card again for Friday. You have been given the two of Earth. And this is telling me that there's too much going on right now in some of your lives all at once. And there's a need to make a decision right now. Now, this decision that you're going to make, I tell people, use honey instead of vinegar. Because this card implies that you should take a more playful um, approach to making that decision decision. On Saturday, you've been given another major card. You have been given the Justice card. And this is all about you uh, making fair and just decisions and choices and doing what you know is right and standing up for your own beliefs, okay? So when you stand up on that podium to speak your peace, please, please know that you need to do and be yourself. You need to do what you need to do right for yourself. On Sunday, the end of the week, you've been given the Eight of Earth. And this is telling me that some of you are going to be rewarded for the skilled work that you put out at your place of employment. And it shows me that you're going to be learning all you can about a new topic, a new subject. And some of you are actually going back to school to learn more about it. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card. And that card is the Power of Joy. So, my friend. You need to feel that. That is one of the most awesome emotions we can ever enjoy and feel. Besides love is 
joy. So this card tells you, you need to get out there and you need to do what it is that brings you your personal joy. I wish you a great remainder to today, my friend, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. And that quote is, focus on the journey, not the destination. Joy is found not in finishing an activity, but actually in doing it. See you again, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.